nothing like a good brisk walk on a cold day with a cold wind. Well, that's a real shame. I just don't want to stay here. I don't think it's pleasant. Good morning and welcome to the video. So we are in Lake Gardner, just out of Moena in Tasmania. We camped here last night. It's a beautiful free camp and it gets really crowded at night. A lot of people come in from Cradle Mountain. It's only about half an hour from Cradle Mountain. I think it's the only free camp near there. Wow, we're just finishing our morning walk and it's so peaceful and quiet and there's water which Abby's loving. Uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna pack up and we are doing a road trip. So I am on a seven day road trip and this video should leave us in Queenstown. But I'm gonna take you with me. Uh, let's see what we're gonna see for the next three days. We're going to places I've never been before. Um, so it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, and I have got some good recommendations from Steph from Dusty Road Therapy about where to go and where to stay. I've planned it out in great detail because I do still have to work. So I make sure I have um, internet on the days I need to work. All right, we are going to head back to camp. Let's go. camped last night. Look at that, we're right on the water. One thing though that always surprises me is people's obsession with fire and the fire pits. So let me just show you how many fire pits there are along this little bit of water here. Hang on. So there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can people just not use the same fire pit? Why do they have to dig so many holes and make so many? I never understood that. I really don't get it. All right, we're going to pack up and we're heading into Roseberry. And I think the first stop is some waterfalls and a hike to some waterfalls. So that'll be our morning exercise. I tried to keep this morning's walk a bit shorter. Um, Abby doesn't understand, but she can only walk so much in one day. All right, let's pack up and head out. I just thought I'd show you on my huge map here about where we are and where we're going. So we are here, Moena, and tonight we're planning to camp around here. I think it's on Lake Roseberry. And today we're gonna to go up to Waratah and there's some waterfalls there we're gonna to hike to. And then we'll be exploring around here. Okay, that's my big map. Seems not even bigger than my hand. my first stop it's black bluff range lookout and there's a track here i can walk up apparently it's 200 meter gravel track and i'll have views of cradle mountain so it's actually got really cold i'm really high there's a sign that i'm at the highest elevation of something it's really got really high got really cold um but i'm gonna go and hike up there i'm gonna leave abby no, I'm going to take Abby. I'm going to take Abby for a walk. I'll take Abby. Um, yeah, we're just going to check out the views. I don't think we're going to be able to see Cradle Mountain because it is cloudy and overcast, but oh, whatever. Let's just go and have fun. Okay, let's go. It's the highest point on Belvoir Road. 930 meters we're up, I guess. It's pretty cold. All right, let's go for a walk, Abby. Come on. I'm not even sure which direction Cradle Mountain is. 
but it's just clouds all around us. I forgot to bring my microphone for the wind. But yeah, it's a good hike up though. It's beautiful views. Oh. Abby's wrapped herself around the sign. Really, sweetie? Did you have to do that? She's gonna be grumpy with me this morning when I make her morning walks really short. She doesn't she doesn't like it. And she like lays down, doesn't want to go back to the van. But I'm kind of like, I can't explain to her, but we're gonna be doing a lot more walking today. And I want you to come with me. So yeah, she gets really grumpy, but I think, I think I've redeemed myself already. Just this walk up here. So check her out. She's having a great time. You having a good time, Abby? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the van. day with a cold wind oh that was really good I feel invigorated now it's excellent um, and I don't know if you've noticed but I retired my old orange hoodie I actually wore that thing out it was so thin and I had a company called Fitfeel actually reach out to me and they've given me um, this hoodie and a couple other winter kind of jumper things which I thought I wasn't going to wear for a couple of months but I might be pulling them out today um, they also gave me some shoes like some sandals which I'll share with you later um, and I just got to say really really high quality um, I didn't expect it to be this good really high quality and for the price um yeah i will definitely get their their hoodie again it's just brilliant all right um i also saw a sign up there for pct which you know i've watched a lot of youtube i thought pacific crest trail but we're on the wrong continent for that so i know there is a hiking trail that goes around C cradle mountain um i don't have very good internet here but i will look it up and if i can work out what it is i'll put it on the screen here for you um so yeah and this like had a marker number 18 so this must be part of the hike that you do I'll look it up and I'll get back to you. All right, I think our next stop is a steam engine, um, an old steam engine. So, all right, let's get going. We've just pulled into the town of Waratah. It's a gorgeous little town. Um, and I just saw they've got like a, a Smith's hut. So if you watched the video that I did with me and Steph, we went to an old trapper's hut. And this looks like it might be something similar. So let's go check it out. Here's the information on the hut. Philosopher's Hut. This building was opened in 1988 as a memorial to James Philosopher Smith and his exploration work, which led to the discovery of tin. It owes its existence to Smith and all the pioneer families who came here from 1872 onward. Like, it always amazes me in Australia, all these tiny little towns just popped up from like mines. Uh, so many of them, and then most of them disappeared. So this one stuck around. I think this one stuck around for tourist reasons, but let's check it out. interesting there's some really old stuff in here and the first time I've ever seen a tin fireplace so normally I've always seen them with brick but yeah there's some old stuff in here there's some new stuff like someone's carved these chairs really cute but yeah it's uh, quite interesting well it's just started to rain um, and 
this town has surprisingly good internet. So we're gonna hang out in the van and I'm gonna catch up on work. And it's 11.30, I'll be doing some work, I'll be doing lunch, and I did wanna go to the waterfall, so hopefully this rain passes once I've finished everything I need to do. And then I'll pick you up again in a minute. All right, we'll see you probably in a couple of hours for me. Two seconds for you, here, here you go, see ya. It's about three and a half hours later. I have done my work. I have had lunch. I have answered the comments um, that I received from the video that went up yesterday. I replied to my Patreon comments and I've posted some more videos on Patreon about the painted rocks that I'm leaving around. So I think I'm up to about eight now that I've left. Uh, it's going really good, but I've got to get painting some more and running out. So we just came in to see the waterfalls and I thought I'd have to walk to them, but you can see them, that's right in town. Let me show you the waterfall. Here's my co-pilot. Where are we off to now, Abby? Where are we going? Right, that's Waratah, not a very big town. Um, and we're now going to head into Tulla and check out a few things in Tulla and then our campground's not far from there. It's only about 40 minutes into Tulla. So let's go see what they've got, shall we? Okay, let's go. It's a really weird little town. I don't think there's much going on here, so let's go to our camp spot. I think it's getting late in the day and we can pick up again tomorrow. All right, let's go see where we're camping. This was a Steph recommendation. Let's see, putting you on the spot now, Steph. All right, let's go. We've arrived. I went to the first campground. I was near Tola, and it wasn't really a campground. It was like a little turnout, and there was a couple of caravans there and a motorhome, and it was already packed and it didn't look very nice. But this one is like six kilometers back to where I came from, um, and it's awesome. And there's only one other caravan here. So check this out. It's so good. to check out the views as we came over the dam. This is McIntosh Dam campsite, I think McIntosh Lake. Um, and you check out the views as we came. We actually drove over the dam wall. I think you actually drive along where the overflow goes. And some people had said that it was closed. So I guess when the water's high, they close it off and you can't get through here. But, oh, this is amazing. We're in the forest. It smells amazing. Like, oh, like Steph said when we were driving once, she goes, it smells like my air freshener in my car. It smells amazing. It's peaceful. It's quiet. <gasps> we are staying here tonight. I'm very happy about that. And now it's going to rain. <laughs> oh, well, let's get Abby out of the car. This is so good. Just found a sign for a boat ramp. So we're just going to walk down here and see if we can get down to the water and get a view of the lake. I love it here. It's so nice. So peaceful. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Sometimes I just need to be alone, you know, in the forest. Okay. 
Okay, let's go for a walk. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's because it's so quiet here. I don't want to disturb the wildlife. <laughs> let's go. There's a sign here about needing to evacuate when the water level gets high. Wow, look at this, we're on the lake. Where is the stones throw from the lake? This is Lake McIntosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Abby's straight in the water. She loves drinking all the lake water and the river water and streams. Much better than the water that comes out the tap, isn't it, Abby? Much better. Oh, it's very brown, isn't it, that water? It's just so beautiful, I can't believe it. This is such a great way to end a day that's been really good. But yeah, this is just, it's a great end of the day. I feel really good. I'm gonna do some rock painting now and have dinner and start editing this video. Gonna put the first cuts in, it's always easier if I do that the day I shoot it. And then yeah, just relax with Abby, I think because we've got another six days of travel. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't, tomorrow's not so much driving. I don't think today was a big driving day. I think the last day is a bigger driving day. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed coming along. And uh, it's not the end. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, don't go away. <laughs> I'll pick you up in the morning. Yeah, I'll let you know where we're going tomorrow. All right, we'll see you in the morning. morning well we've had a very slow start to the day and we've just stopped here on our way out of camp uh, and I just thought I'd give you a quick chat um, we had a lovely morning I found an even better spot to camp there's another boat ramp on the other side and if you go down you can actually camp there there are a couple of people there and it's like right on the water it's spectacular Oh, and we had an awesome long walk this morning Abby just dragging me around every nook and cranny she could find I should let you see the beautiful view behind me. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we've had a lovely slow morning. It's actually 10.30 now, um, and we're just getting ready to head out. Oh, that's right, I was doing a top coat on some of my rocks. Um, I'm doing my rock painting challenge this month um, in February, and I'm just getting five more rocks ready to hand out today or leave somewhere. So yeah, so we're just heading now into Roseberry and Zeehan today, and then hopefully we're camping out at Granville Harbour. All right, it's just so beautiful here. I really don't want to leave. You could definitely stay here for a few days. If you ever come to Tasmania, uh, McIntosh, Lake McIntosh camp spot, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful area. I was going to say, if you're going to come to Tasmania, I think the best time to come is February and March. The weather is still really good and all you've lost all the crowds like that come after Christmas and before school goes back. So, All right, Abby's still stiffing over there. We better leave this place and head out. But I'm sure there'll be more beautiful places we're going to see see today. All right, let's go. We are in Roseberry and we're going to check out Stitt Falls. 
and it has mixed reviews on wiki camps. Some people say it's not worth it. I don't know already. I think it's beautiful. People are a bit critical. They compare they compare one thing to another. I learned that very early on. I said made a video where I said you need to stop comparing one place to another and just appreciate each place for the beauty that it has. So yeah, check, check, check this out. It's gorgeous already. It's beautiful. I just love the sound of the rushing water. I think it's beautiful. Uh, it, like, the waterfall is nice, but the whole just area, it's gorgeous. And this is in the middle of the town, again. Just like the one in uh, Waratah. There's a waterfall in the middle of town. That's a bit, that's a bit of a spin out for me. All right, let's head back to them. consulting my little tourist guide here on Roseberry and I highlighted a few things so we did Stip Falls it looks like there's a Roseberry miners hut and aerial ropeway heritage display we might try and find those two things um, I don't think we can do the Montezuma Falls I think that's no dogs or it's really long one of the two um, I can't remember but we're not doing that one um, all right let's check out let's see if we can find these two Roseberry miners hut let's check that out That's a real shame. So um, it's been gutted by fire and I just had a look on the internet and they had a fire come through here December 26th. So it looks really recent. I just showed you a video of the trees behind it. it looks recent. So December 26th, which is only, I mean, today for me, we are in the middle of February. So it's not even two months and it gutted out this. It said the Heritage Center, which is just behind me, that blue building and apparently a hotel um, as well, which I'm not sure where that is, but yeah, so yeah, so the locals banded together to save residences. So yeah, that's a bit heartbreaking when you get a fire this close to a small town like this. So yeah, that's a bit of a shock. Anyway, um, what else were we gonna look for? Something else, hang on. I've got my trusty map. We were going to check out the aerial ropeway heritage display. All right, let's see if we can find it. Could not find the aerial ropeway heritage display so we are actually now in Zihan and I've just found this really nice little spot I'm gonna stop here and have lunch it's 12 30 and it's a nice grassy spot for Abby she can hang out in the grass there's an old miners hut there and before I forget I'm just gonna go leave a rock over there on that picnic table Just catching up on some work now after lunch and Abby's just out there snoozing in the sun. Hey sweetie, the flies chasing you? I know. All right, back to work. Just thought I'd give you a quick update while I take a break from working. I got my new solar panels from EcoFlow. So here they are. I've just got them laid flat at the moment. And just so you can see, I've got the laptop plugged in and it, it's just laying flat, the panels are pulling in 6970 and the laptop's pulling out 5253. So it's still charging, I've still got more coming in. Um, I just love it. It just 
so brilliant love it i will be giving you a bigger update in the next couple of videos um, i'm going to do an up-to-date update on the solar panels and the power station how i'm loving it all right back to work <laughs> all right i have finished work for the day um, I did my bookkeeping, I replied to more comments, I get so many comments on YouTube, it's fantastic, love it. Um, and I've been doing some research for my March challenge, which I will be releasing that video before this one. So you should already know what the March challenge was, um, and I am looking into that, doing some research on it now. So getting that set up so that um, everyone can start in March if they need to. Um, yeah, and now we are actually just going, there's not much to see in Zihan, I think it's just a mining town. We've had a beautiful stay here at the park, it's been really nice. Um, Abby's loving the grass. And I'm going to head out to the campsite, which is Granville Harbour. It's a 35 minute drive, um, and it's right on the water there. And there are actually some houses, I had a look on the um, satellite maps, and there are some houses there, um, So and a little camp spot. So we're going to head out to Granville Harbour to camp tonight. And yeah. And then I will let you know when we get there. And I was hoping to film some more videos um, tonight. I was hoping to film the one about the challenge, but maybe we'll film that in the morning. Anyway, let's get out there and then see how we feel. That's a plan. All right, let's head up. A guy just came in and he was sitting at the picnic table there and he's picked up the rock. So let's leave another one here, shall we? I don't believe people actually just pick them up and take them. Home. It just makes me so happy. It's really good. All right, which one are we gonna get? Hang on. Well, we just left a turtle one. So should we do the beetle or let's do the beetle. Let's do the beetle one. Yeah, I like this one. All right, let's go put this over on the bench. <laughs> I have so much fun doing this. It's just, wow, it's so cool. When I, went, when I left one down at um, Longford and I went back the next day, someone had taken it, so I left another one. So yeah, that's really good. Hopefully yeah, make someone's day, make them happy, put a smile on their face. All right, we gotta pack up. Granville Harbour and we've been here for just over an hour I think I've actually had dinner uh, but it's really really windy really windy and the van's rocking and it's not pleasant and it's not enjoyable for me or Abby I've kind of have to stay locked in the van so we're gonna leave it's only six o'clock um, we're gonna head down to Strawn so it might be just over an hour's drive I think maybe hour and a half but it doesn't get dark here till about 8 30 so I'm gonna go because yeah that takes me where we're going to go tomorrow yeah, I just don't want to stay here. I don't think it's pleasant and I won't be enjoying it tonight. So let's go. Now I'm happy. 